Imaratis in Dubai cast their votes on Saturday at the Dubai World Trade Center to elect their representatives to the Federal National Council. The FNC is the UAE's advisory council. There were a total of 479 candidates vying for a seat in the council. There are a total of 40 members of the FNC. 20 seats will be elected by the Electoral College, which has more than 330,000 members, while the remaining 20 seats will be appointed by the different emirates. Hopefully the winners and who will be uh, our uh, colleagues will work with us under the Parliament Dome, those uh, who will be uh, raising all those issues. But again, it's in the end of the day, the uh, similar issue, what will help Emirates to be uh, in a better situation. Uh, it's, uh, it's always what is close to our nationals and inshallah what will help developing a better Emirates for everyone. What's important for us uh, in the UAE here and for the national of the UAE is that we choose our candidate based on the uh, priority and the agendas that, and, and the subject that has been presented, whether it is on the economy or uh, it is on the environment, or it could be political or it could be social. And of course, through that, we are able to identify uh, through the government also what are the priorities of our nationals. Uh, and maybe we can address them also at a higher level eventually. This year's FNC elections is the fourth in the nation's history. A total of 39 polling stations were spread across the UAE. The 40-member FNC is composed of eight members from Abu Dhabi and Dubai, six from Sharjah and Ras Al-Khaimah, and four from Ajman, Um al Quain, and Fujaira. At the Dubai World Trade Center, voters said they were happy with the smooth and ultra-modern voting process. This is a smooth, safety, uh, very nice, very luxury. Time-wise, is very important. The most important thing is the time. One minute, I finished. The experience was very good. Uh, the process was very easy. You don't see crowd that yeah. here because, as I said, actually the process is lean. And you know the flow is fast and the number of stations is high. So people, whatever actually, they, they, who they come actually, they can go, they can finish and go very quickly. The election's preliminary results will be announced right after the polling centers are closed. The National Election Committee will approve the final list of winners on October 13. Irish Eden Beleza for Gulf News.